Welcome to the Great Dane channel. I'm Michael Coburn. These are the Great Danes and Reggie. Uh, I can't rename the channel, but Reggie is a huge part of the dynamics of having the dogs. So let me just introduce you to the boys. Um, I've got a couple of clips to do that. <laughs> Sit. But this is Finn. This is Magic. And this is Reggie. Can you just please sit down? Well, I got him back when he was just a pup. Way back then I could pick him up. Now he barely fits into my pickup truck. Yeah, but he's doing all right. And it's That's a great Dane's dance. Six foot five. He was cold or wet. No Here we have Finn. Finn is a four and a half year old fawn. Great Dane. He's neutered at age one. Finn is out of the Shady Creek Great Danes kind of line of Great Danes, where I've had three dogs from that group. Finn is a delightful personality and a happy-go-lucky goof. Uh, he is a little bit aggressive towards other dogs or reactive, and we're working on that, aren't we, Reggie? Uh, but he is uh, someone I can control, but probably not good for others to control. He's an example of how you better know what you're getting into with a Great Dane uh, because you have to be able to control them at all times. We love Finn. Finn, you may have noticed in videos, has a little uh, something Loma. Reggie, it's okay. Get out of the way, buddy. Um, but that is not a problem. We have it looked at all the time, and, and he's doing fine. Here we have Magic. <laughs> Magic's a male brindle Great Dane. You know, it was all quiet when I started making this footage, but now everyone's crazy. It's not even close to a meal time. I just start talking and they start going, guys. Anyway, Magic, stay. Stay. Okay. Magic is seven and a half. He'll be eight in October. We'll talk about that more in a bit. But Magic is also Shady Creek Great Danes. I got him as a seven-month-old, supposedly show dog out in Oregon, but he just wasn't going to make it as a show dog. And the reason is his mouth, his headpiece, his lips. See how tight they are? It's kind of like a girlish kind of head, and you don't want that for showing. But Finn, conversely, Finn has these gigantic lips, what you would really want if you're trying to show a dog. Here we have Reggie. Reggie is a 10 breed mix. I'll show you what he looks like here. Here's his different breeds. But Reggie has turned out to be just absolutely fantastic. And he has won me over. I thought I was a purebred dog guy. But Reggie just is the poster child for why you should rescue. And he's been amazing. And you've seen all the footage of him and Finn. They board together. They do great together. Come on, there you go. Lie down, lie down, lie down, lie down. Good boy, down, down, down. That's it, it's not that hard to do. Oh, you don't have to lay down, but okay. Okay. Anyway, I just wanted to talk to you about the Great Danes today because, uh, you know, we've got over 25,000 subscribers. I had been trying to upload two days a week but with COVID and being in, in quarantine and everything else, um, it's it's hard to come up with new and interesting information. But I so appreciate you watching. These dogs are just amazing. They do come with a little bit of, uh, you know, responsibility and extra costs. And you can't just have, you know, the neighbor casually wander in to take care of them. So you got to have either a great place to board them or you've got to have someone that you trust who can come in and take care of them, or you're just going to be at home with them all the time, which is fine during COVID. But anyway, um, I love all the comments and the things that you all have to say. Um, I love that some of you get uh, emotional mental health support from watching the videos and just living vicariously through us with our Danes because you can't 
necessarily consider taking on owning them. Many of you have had Danes and lost them. And I know what that's like. And when you see a Great Dane, you just love the opportunity to pet them or go up and say hi. And you almost immediately understand their personalities and, and what makes them up. Now, this is a classic magic pose you'll see with him on his back, uh, enjoying getting petted. Reggie here has definitely spiced up the uh, activity around here. He's just very feisty and gets along great with the dogs. I mean, magic just tolerates him, but this is how they want to be. Go, Finn. Go, Finn. Finn, go. 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 Get upstairs. Let's go. Come on. Come on. And they want to be wherever I am. So while I'm here in my home office and basement, Reggie, would you leave him alone? He doesn't really like that. Stop. Stop. No. And Reggie just wants to be part of the gang. And he is. And he and Finn just go nonstop. So um, I need to trim their nails. I use a, kind of a guillotine clippers or I use a Dremel tool. For a quick hit, I can basically trim all their nails in about a minute and a half when they come in in the back. And just take a little nip off so I don't um, go ahead and get their uh, their nerve or their vein that's in there and have them bleed, which I've done a number of times. But anyway, we've had Great Dane since 1992, and they just brought a lot of joy to our life over the years, and they continue to. But they are a huge responsibility, and if they're not trained well or they have a bad temperament, they can do huge damage, and they can really cause you a lot of... Um, you know, stress, anxiety, legal problems, whatever it might be. But um, well-trained, well-bred, um, great dogs. And know what you're getting into with them, I think, is the other thing I would say. But anyway, just uh, this, is the, this is where we are with the Great Danes. Uh, check out the videos. I've now made over 600 videos that are part of this channel. Granted, some of them are a little bit redundant or repetitive, but... Um, that's what everyday life is with these dogs. And boy, is feeding time an important time for them. It's not even close. We're an hour from lunch. And uh, this guy is just as enthusiastic as here, Mr. Magic here, on, on food. So, um, yeah. Anyway, just thought I'd talk to you directly. You know, one of the things that we're thinking about is our future and uh, traveling and all this sort of thing. And the one thing about Great Danes is, you know, they don't they don't live as long as some of the other breeds. Reggie's probably going to live 18 years or something like that. Whereas these guys, you know, if they make it to 10 years, that would be a pretty good life for a Great Dane. Longest I've ever had a dog live uh, was nine years. It was our first Great Dane, Hilda. Uh, Hilda, Hilda was uh, the only female we've ever had. And then uh, Frederick, Frederick lived to be um, about seven and a half. Both of those dogs bloated, successful surgery on Hilda. Um, did not do the surgery on Frederick because he already had bad hips. I had already had his eye removed due to a cataract. And um, then we had Ferris who lived to be five. But unfortunately, he's what I'm talking about when you talk about not well bred or temperament. And he wound up biting our uh, exchange student very severely and uh, luckily did not cause any permanent damage, but um, could not have that dog continue. But he made it to age five. And then these boys both were uh, prophylactically had their stomachs tacked. So that would avoid hopefully the bloat in 90% of the incidences. Um, but you do, uh, it's a short time you have with these dogs. Now, while that's awful sad, it also allows you to, you know, plan your life. But when I look at magic and I see all that gray, I just think about the, the precious time that we have together. So I'm always giving them an extra pat and letting them know how much we love them and uh, taking good care of them. That's what we do. Finn is uh, just awesome in every way. And 
yeah, but we're going to enjoy them while we have them. But I have to say, and I don't know if I, you can hold me to this, but I do think these are our last two Great Danes because we want to get on with traveling and maybe going around in a, uh, a van or seeing the national parks. And I don't want to board these guys for that long. And I don't really think it's practical to take these guys on the road with me. Reggie, on the other hand, probably could. So that's uh, that's just an update on the dogs. I hope you enjoyed it and open any questions you might have or uh, comments or once the weather breaks and we can get these guys out and meet the public again, those are always fun. So that's all I had to say. Have a great Dane, day. Dane in the neighborhood. Why can't every dog be just as good?